Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach is known for its beautiful beach, four oceanfront pools, including three swim-up bars, and excellent dining options. Hey everybody, it's Angie from Trips with Angie, and I am here at Grand Fiesta Americana Coral Beach Family All-Inclusive Resort. Let's take a look around. After your 25 minute ride from the Cancun airport, you'll be greeted with a cold towel and enter this beautiful open air lobby at the Gran Fiesta Americana. So the first thing you'll note is the hotel is a little bit of an older, more traditional style, but I love the special touches around the resort like these beautiful flower arrangements. The check-in desk is right to your left as you enter the lobby. Reservations are required for the restaurant. You can make them one day in advance. So right after check-in, I suggest heading straight to the restaurant reservation desk. There are options that don't require a reservation for the day of your arrival, and then you can make a reservation for the next night. Next to the reservation desk is the sports lounge. This is a really fun area. It has all kinds of air hockey, foosball, ping pong, pool tables, and then some video games. Sorry it's so dark. It was closed when I went in. Ninja Turtles, Pac-Man, Space Invaders, all included. So this is a super fun space to go in the evenings. Just past there, you'll find the escalators down to the first level. And here we'll find two restaurants. The first is the Italian restaurant. So reservations are required for this seating, but if you look at the seating against the window, that's considered the terrace, and that is available first come, first serve without reservations. So that is going to be one option for the night of your arrival if there aren't reservations available. Uh, you can see here it was closed for cleaning, but this is a beautiful space. It's new. I highly recommend checking it out. And then next to it, we're going to find the Asian restaurant. So this is another new dining option. It has a sushi bar, as you can see here. The sushi bar does not require reservations, so that's another option. It's also a great option if you just want a late night snack or maybe a pre-dinner snack. You do need reservations inside the restaurant though for the regular menu or for the hibachi table. So these are the tables where the chefs cook right in front of you, which is really fun back up the escalators to the main lobby bar. I love how much seating this lobby has and how it's kind of spread out. It's also set up for larger groups, which is nice since this is a family resort. We saw a lot of larger family groups traveling together and it was nice they didn't have to move furniture around to sit near each other. In the evenings on this little stage, there was a violin player, a saxophone player. The store right there has anything you may have forgotten, some souvenirs as well as sunscreen and other essentials. And then over to the side, there is the lobby bar. We'll end this tour of the first level over there. Uh, to the right here is the membership program. So this is, you know, the typical sit in in the two to three hours and sign up and prepay for your vacations. The outside terrace does allow smoking and they have this neat little station as you come back into the hotel to trade out your pool towel, rinse off your feet, get a pair of slippers. Down at the bottom of the stairs to the right, you'll find the pool towels if you need to grab one, and then you can head out to the pool. So here's a directory. You can see the four different ocean front pools here. We're gonna head to the left to start the tour. They have a small gazebo there. This area was under construction during our stay. You can see kind of the orange fencing there to the right. So you had to kind of go back around the terrace. To the left of this huge terrace, you're gonna find the entrance to the supervised kids club. Um, it's absolutely huge. It gets high marks from everyone. There's a playground inside. They have a lot of supervised kids activities. Heading back around the pool, we'll see our first swim up bar. You heard in the beginning there are three, which I think is so impressive. There were a lot of chairs. We did see some chair hogs that would get up at seven and, and put towels down and not use them, but we didn't really have a lot of trouble during our stay finding a chair to put our things. Um, if you've watched my previous videos, you know we tend to hang out at the swim up bar anyway, so it's not a big deal. Here at this swim up bar, there is a grill, so you can order food to your chair. The waiters will come and bring you a menu and you can order off of it. The food is delivered with a lid to protect your meal from the birds that are flying all around. The buffalo wings were very good. One of the best I've had at an all-inclusive resort. The pizza was just okay. I didn't love the crust or the sauce, but I did really like the steak wrap and the fries were very good. So lots of good options to order right to your chair or even in the pool. We saw people like eating at the swim up bar, which I thought was a little weird, but to each their own. 
To the left, as you're facing the ocean, you're gonna find the exclusive Grand Club seating area. So Grand Club is a category of room you can book, which comes with extra amenities and perks. So one of the perks is access to this seating area with incredible ocean views. And then in the back corner there, you can see they have their own bar. So they have their own bar and weight team as a perk of being part of the Grand Club. Grand Club special seating also extends to the beach. So here we are overlooking the beach seating. Now you'll notice as we go down to the beach, this takes up a substantial portion of the available beach seating. So if the beach is important to you, I think it's worth the upgrade. We're gonna head down to the actual beach, down this really cute staircase to the taco restaurant. So the taco restaurant was open for lunch and dinner. So here it is during the day. And now let me show you what it looks like at night because it is so charming. So this was kind of our first night and we head down to the beach for dinner. There's the fire and it's absolutely gorgeous inside. We had a beautiful ocean front table. The waves were coming in. There was a breeze. It was so, so lovely. And then we ordered the tacos. We missed the memo that there were three tacos in an order, but I highly recommend the shrimp tacos if you're looking for a taco. Now back down to the beach, you can see why this resort is popular for its beach with the beautiful white sand, turquoise waters, and calm waves. We did have a little bit of rougher surf during our stay, but it wasn't quite as rough as you find in the hotel zones. Now, another look at that Grand Club area. Now we're gonna head back up the stairs and come around the back of that swim up bar we saw. So there's that grill I was talking about that sources the food that comes out when you order to your chair. Then you have different options for chaise loungers. There's chaise loungers in the water or along the pool. Lots of umbrellas if you want some shade. There are quite a few stairs here. Um, you can kind of make your way around if you need to, but the quickest way a lot of places is via the stairs. Here's another section of the beach. You can see it's a bit rockier here, so there's not as much space for chairs. All right, coming around the pool area, you can see this pool is ending. So there's a set of waterfall stairs that you cannot climb on. And now we're looking at the second pool, second oceanfront pool. It has a little platform in the middle that the kids love uh, running on and jumping off of. And then here is another swim up bar. So our second swim up bar of the tour. Heading around the side of it, you can see this is that beach area we were just looking at a little further along. So there are chairs here, but it is a bit rockier and it's not that beautiful white sand we saw in the Grand Club section. Now, I love these chairs right here. They're not in the sand, but you still have that beautiful ocean view. We're gonna head up to that bridge to check out the third pool, which is the activity pool. So here you can see this is the outdoor seating for the buffet, and then this is the activity pool. This is where they set up the volleyball net. Behind this pool, they set up some additional lunch options. So one of the options is these tables that get set up with tacos. So on this day, it was carnitas, pork tacos, with all of the fixings, you just come up and they'll carve it for you fresh right there. And then next to it is La Cevicheria, so that is fish that has been cooked in an acid. It's absolutely delicious. Again, you just walk up and grab it from there. Coming around, we're going to find another restaurant. So you can see those little steps in the background that kind of make a waterfall that kind of connects the pools together, but you can't climb them or use them to go around. Behind this pool closest to the ocean is Isla Cantoy, another one of the restaurants. This was open for lunch during our stay, but I heard it is open for breakfast or dinner depending on occupancy as well. This does have a dress code. It's really important that you are dry when you arrive and it looks like you're in clothes, so make sure you have a nice cover up. It had a really lovely buffet available. They called it a salads buffet, but I think you could put together a full lunch here if you didn't wanna wait to order off the menu. You can see they have all different kinds of salads, different snacky appetizers, as well as hot food available. I ordered the ceviche, it was delightful. It was so tasty. We also got the tuna tartare that was very good. If you're a clam chowder fan, you'll want to order this one. We were both surprised how tasty it was. I got the seafood pasta, which was terrific. The seafood was 
perfectly cooked and had a very flavorful sauce. My husband got the fish fillet, both highly recommended if you enjoy seafood. Now, taking a peek, this is another area beach. So this is down just below the restaurant. So you can see there's a couple more chairs here. The tide's in, so it takes up a lot of the beach area, but there are still some cabanas and chaise chairs available. Heading down the stairs from the restaurant, we find our fourth pool and third swim up bar. During our stay, this was the least popular. So you could always find a chair here, lots of space to spread out. And there's also that small little kiddie pool in the back. The first pool we saw also has the same kiddie pool setup. So if you're looking for a place that's a little more chill, you might wanna head to this area of the resort. There's also this big terrace that can be used for special events. And then they'll put chaise loungers out there just to have additional seating available. If you're looking for some toys to head out on the ocean with you're going to go all the way to the right and down the stairs here's where you can rent some jet skis or take part in the complimentary non-motorized sports available at the resort so again that's as you're looking at the ocean all the way to the right of the resort so now we're going to head back inside and see more of the restaurants the main entrance to get back inside is located just opposite the entrance to the restaurant. So heading up the ramp, you'll have the station again where you can swap out your pool towel, put on some slippers, clean off your shoes. There is a set of elevators here. Heading to the right as we enter the building, to the left there is a transfers and excursions concierge if you need to book something like that. And then we're going to head to the buffet, which was available for breakfast, lunch, and dinner during our stay. People do tend to line up around 8 a.m., so you can expect a 10 to 15 minute wait in the morning, so keep that in mind as you plan to head down to the buffet. The buffet is large, but there are a lot of steps, so just keep that in mind. The omelet station has made to order omelets. If you see the turkey on the buffet, you definitely want to get it. It's absolutely delicious. You can also find fresh fruits and cottage cheese as well as a large number of juices and milk available. You'll also find breads, meat, and cheeses. I love that all inclusives in Mexico have a good charcuterie platter at every meal. And then of course your baked sweets, muffins, pastries and a smoothie station if you're trying to be a little bit healthier. The Havana Club is the steakhouse. It also turns into a Latin lounge at night. And I'm gonna be honest, I didn't stay up late enough to see it, but I thought this video was kind of fun uh, and what to expect if you go to the Havana Club when it turns into a Latin lounge at 11 p.m. Just past the buffet, you'll find the coffee shop. Now, interesting note here, the pastries don't become available till after the buffet closes for breakfast. But if you come in the afternoon or evening, you can find sandwiches, different pastries, and very delicious gelato ice cream. In the morning, they set out this little table outside the coffee shop with eggs and sausage and toast and muffins. So if you just need a quick bite, you can head here to grab that on the outside of the coffee shop. Now coming back around, so now we are back at the lobby bar. The collection of alcohol they have available is very impressive. Just past the lobby bar, we'll find La Basilica. This is an extra charge restaurant. It is a multi-course tasting experience with wine pairings. It is very highly rated. If that's your sort of thing, absolutely, I recommend booking it. To the left here, we'll find the Mexican restaurant, La Jolla, which is absolutely gorgeous and a must try because you have to have Mexican food when you're in Mexico. There's also a nice tequila bar. You don't need to be going to the restaurant to access that. They have multi-visual presentations as well as a mariachi band that makes their way around the restaurant playing songs at your request. I recommend the poblana cream soup. It was not too spicy. The other outstanding dish we had were the mussels. The sauce in these mussels was absolutely incredible. Very flavorful, a little hint of chili. The hibiscus tostada is something really interesting if you want to try something different. The pork ribs were delicious. They had an adobe sauce that were very nice. I got the stuffed zucchini. The zucchini Kini was a little bit undercooked and needed a little bit more seasoning. Heading to the elevators again, we're gonna head up to floor number four to check out the spa. The spa is gonna be right to your right as you come off the elevator. This is an extra charge, but this is one of the most highly rated spas in the area. The spa has a really cute gift shop if you're looking for some more unique items. There's jewelry available in addition to all the different products that they recommend as part of the spa services. 
heading up the stairs, you'll find the beauty salon. So this is your standard beauty salon. It offers hair services as well as nails, manicure, and pedicure. You can make the reservation with the spa concierge that was sitting just outside the elevators. Continuing up, we will get a peek into the hydrotherapy area. Hydrotherapy comes with a service like a massage or a facial, or you can pay extra to do it on its own. It's an absolutely incredible experience. You go through different steam rooms, ice rooms, masks, uh, highly recommend it if you're into that type of service. Right now, the gym is under construction, so they have moved the gym into part of the spa while that continues. You can see it's an abbreviated setup, but you still do have some weights, a treadmill, stationary bikes to get your workout in. Heading back to the hallway, you can see the stairwells are nice and open, lots of windows, and the windows actually have pretty great views of the resort if you wanted to get a better overview of the different pools. We stayed in room 432. It was a bit loud with some of the construction happening on the third floor, but very close to the elevator. Heading in, you can see this was a king size room. So you have king size bed with tables on either side. Then you have that sunken living room with the couch, a nice desk area, a large screen TV. The bed was very comfortable. The safe was located in the closet as well as slippers and a scale. You had an iron and ironing board. The sink area had plenty of room for everyone's products. It was a shower tub combo. It's Loctane shampoo, conditioner, and shower gel. You also had lotion available. The mini bar is included as well as an espresso coffee machine. You have Pepsi products, waters, juices, and then Heineken and Ducati beer were in ours. Next to the bed, there were outlets for a CPAP machine in case you needed it. And then the big, again, the big screen TV. There are hand papers are going to hand out. It looks like a magazine that will have all the activities on it. Nice big table when you, if you wanted to order the included room service and a very comfy couch. Heading out to the balcony, you can see we had a very good view of the resort. Those third floor rooms have the extended balcony and then the resort kind of wraps around and yes, it is pink. So there's that first pool we looked at coming across to the second pool. And you can see even a better view here. The breast, the secret drawer here has additional waters as well as some snacks. And then if you continue to head down the hall from our room, this is where the Grand Theater was located. This was where the evening shows took place. So that is Grand Fiesta. What did you think? Let me know in the comments. And here are some videos YouTube and I thought you might like.